Let's finish off this round of the series with one more attempt at sort of directly attacking f of a really big ordinal, comma, 3, for, you know, since that's, one, that's a number I often use. Um, and we're just going to get little glimpses of parts of the expansion. Obviously, a lot of the business about g has shown us that even doing the initial expansion is absolutely, utterly crazy at this point. So we've got the Bachmann-Howard ordinal, and we're going to get a, some sort of sense of f of bh of 3, and we're just going to get little zooms into parts of the amazing picture here. So by definition, Bachmann-Howard, um, the way we were approaching that was we were taking psi of a tower of omegas, and at the 3 level, we're just going to have 3 omegas. Um, and since that is an omega expression, that's going to be, uh, we're going to take the arithmetic of omega to the omega to the something, and compose it with psi and do that three times on psi of zero, and then we're going to take that ordinal and use f of that, comma three. Well, so the very top level, if we wanted to just try to expand it out, really the whole thing would be this kind of thing: f of psi of omega to the omega to the psi of omega to the omega to the psi of omega to the omega to the psi of zero. And I'm not even going to try to directly start expanding that. We could we could start working on the psi of zero there, but it would just be crazy to even do that, okay? So another little, but in principle, that's what you have to do. So let's just get a little taste of, well, what would happen if we actually only looked at the f of this part, comma three, okay? So that's gonna be this thing here. All right, let's scroll down a little bit. Okay, so now um, here, the psi of zero is gonna get expanded to an omega to the omega to the omega. Okay, and now that's a somewhat more pedestrian thing for us. We know what that does, but remember, what it does is it gets into like omega to the omega squared 2 plus omega 2 plus, and it's plus 3, but I'm going to write it as plus 2 plus 1, because then that plus 1 spits off an, another omega. This is all in the exponent of that upper big omega. So we've got an omega with omegas in the exponent, and then times omega. Okay, what does that do? Very briefly, we've seen this kind of thing before. That omega turns into a 3. Well, that's a 2 plus 1. So the 2 lets this thing just stay what it is times 2. And then the other one gets expanded, and that decrements the exponent, etc., etc., etc. And what you get is this big summation of a bunch of terms ending with omega plus 2 plus 1. And, ooh, let's see, there's a dot, dot, dot here. I forgot that. Okay. So there's a big, big expansion there. And we know how big that expansion is, omega to the omega to the omega. That's 3 double up 3 is just how many um, expansions you have to get if you want to take this and just take it all the way down to 0 with decrements. So this is going to be a very big expansion. And what is that going to do? Okay, just the plus one. Nothing, not eating away into this any more than just taking off that last plus one creates a new big omega slot. And how do we work on that? Psi of arithmetic involving big omega. You say, okay, so now I'm going to take H sub this whole mess, and then I forgot again the dot, dot, dots here. So you're going to take um, omega, big omega, to the big omega, to the little omega, the lingual squared, blah, da, 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 all this dot, 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 and then with a slot right here for a multiply times omega that's still in a exponent slot with a big omega base. And we're going to do that composed with psi three times, starting with psi of zero, and create an ordinal that way. Wow. So we're getting a sense of just even at this level, and this wasn't really the real thing, even, and even going a little bit in the expansion, is just getting incredibly powerful. And any time we have that, that dot there um, and do the, the uh, iteration of big omega stuff, that's a big, big deal. Okay, so now somewhere way, way far down the line, we've gotten down to something simpler. F of, let's say, psi of just big omega to the little omega squared. Okay, that unpacks to omega, ooh, whoops, my bad. This is omega three plus um, plus um, uh, plus 2 plus 1. Mm, I think that's right, although I might be missing a little bit of the complexity there. So I think I was like copying something with like, um, no, 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 no. That's right. No, because it's going to be, no, I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be Omega 2. Okay. Um, that might be a little, 
a little off. It looks weird to me right now. Anyway, suppose we we're expanding this guy. Okay, so that omega to the something plus one again gives us a big omega. Now, again, now here we've got to where there's just one big omega, and they're not. It's not exponentiated by big omega again, but still we've got a pretty decent h here to combine with psi. Do that three times on psi of zero. This is still a very significant big ordinal, and we're expanding that f of that comma three. So further down the line, what would we get? We'd find eventually we've with a huge effort and just unbelievable number of uh, reductions, we get down to psi of omega cubed. That's created by psi composed uh, with h sub omega squared times something of psi of zero. Um, and what does that look like? Well, if you put in just psi of zero, just once, oh, and that's, that's cubed, okay? If you just do it once, not three times, uh, that's another place where we could take psi of zero and replace it with an omega to the omega to the omega. Okay, that's again omega to the omega squared two plus blah blah blah. Um, it's just crazy. We're we're there's still this is a long 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 way in from where we would have started, and there's still a lot to do. Still a long way down to okay, but eventually we get down to a psi of omega. Even that is a very big deal. Psi of omega is still a very significant ordinal. Psi of psi of omega to the omega to the omega. We again unpack the omega to the omega to the omega. Then we put it into the psi function, and then we put it into the psi again. And this is the level. We've gotten finally gotten rid of the big omegas, so we don't do this extremely powerful thing of like the iterating the psi composed with h. But we still got the, the psi, remember, even when it didn't have the big omega working with it, there was a lot of iterated exponentials, towers and towers and towers of exponentials. Um, and we know that even the g on psi of omega was a pretty big number. So even the number of expansions at this point is huge. So just little snapshots of how ridiculous it would be to try to expand um, f of bh of 3. Um, and some tiny inkling of how incredibly big that number would be.